I don't recommend being a night keeper if you are afraid of the dark. Surprisingly, I don't get scared walking around here by myself in the dark. Welcome back to DZTV's Best Life presented by Cigna. I'm your host, Carly McGuire, and that was Disa Scaff, one of our night keepers. Yes, you heard that right, night keepers. One of the most common questions we on, hear man. is who is with the animals overnight? Come on, let's go inside. Good girl. The answer, a trio of intrepid night keepers who provide vital after hours care to the animals. Good night, sir. Good night, Sprouty. Putting the animals to bed is a pretty fun part of Deesa's job, but it's not the only thing she's doing here at night. So feed, medicating, enriching, just doing extra checks. But Deesa says her role is so much more important than those tasks. It's giving day keepers the sense of assurance that their animals are okay when they're not here. I just love helping them um, and giving them peace of mind that there's someone else keeping an eye on, on the animals when they're at home and, and they can get a good night's sleep. Staying up past midnight and being at the zoo mostly alone isn't everyone's cup of tea. But for Disa, there is nowhere she'd rather be. Being a night keeper is truly my dream job. Um, at the very basest of levels, I am a night owl, so the hours are perfect. Um, but also, I love the fact that my job is fundamentally to help the rest of the animal care staff to take the best care of our animals. Just another way we give our animals their best life here at Denver Zoo, no matter what time of the day or night. For DZTV, I'm Carly McGuire. See you next time.